which brought business in the door. I mean, we, we literally would not survive without the cases that I get. So I would say it has impacted us a lot. The bottom line for me as a, as a small businessman is that a, a referral uh, product has to work. It has to be profitable and you got to get the bang for the buck. Otherwise, I'm not interested. And, uh, and this one works. Probably the minimal amount I've received on a particular client will be several thousand dollars in fees. And that's, you know, we just had one we opened up last month that I think was the shortest file we ever opened up, uh, where it, it opened and closed in the same month because we achieved what the client wanted. And our fee on that was about $3,500. So that, that would be on the minimal end. Uh, but I brought in cases where I've received the uh, well into the six figures. So I can get up to four to five a day, uh, but on an average week, I, you know, I haven't done the math, um, but it's, it's easily 10 to 15 a week that I get. So of the 10 to 15 uh, cases that, that I have access to a week, and it's, I'm thinking that sounds a little light, uh, but I will I will uh, respond to maybe a third of those, and uh, and then probably a third of those will turn into actual clients. Oh my goodness! Sort of the bottom line, as a as a small business owner, it works, and I get the bang for the buck that I'm looking for. I have, to use an old phrase, kissed a lot of frogs. Uh, I've gone through several different vendors in trying to get clients in the door, paying clients, good cases. And Legal Match seems to, seems to do the trick. The other systems that I've tried, and I've tried three or four others, really pale in comparison. And uh, my, my theory on that is this. Legal Match requires the potential client to actually invest their own time into filling out information so that you're provided with that up front. It's not just a click, I want an, an attorney, because those clients are phishing for free information. And a lot of times they are second and third generation clients that are being regurgitated by the time they get to you. So you're not exactly getting the, the pick of the litter there. And with, with Legal Match, I find that the clients are not only quality, but the, the, the cases are more of a quality that, that I can make money on. And uh, the benefit of the system that Legal Match uses is it's really a, a beauty contest, if you will. So the lead goes out to, you know, three or four or five lawyers in, in your particular region or in the, in the area. And you're basically competing against each other. Uh, and I'm just fine with that. I would rather talk to the client and let them pick, but I get the initial choice of which cases I'm going to consider. She's great. I mean, she's very responsive. She she either emails or calls, gosh, once a month, something like that. Uh, I don't keep track of that. I don't take her call every time because I don't need it. But every few months, I'll pick up the phone or respond to the email just to uh, touch base. And usually she provides me with a, a tip or an upgrade because she monitors uh, what we're doing. And uh, it's been beneficial. I mean, it, you know, she provides uh, recommendations for aspects of the program that I'm still learning about. And uh, they've, all, they've all worked very well. Well, I think it's the constant 
influx of potential new cases. You know, I have the fortunate background of having a, a pretty wide array of experiences so I can handle quite a few different areas of litigation. Our, our primary focus is litigation. I'm, I'm not on the transactional side. We can, but that's not our forte. We're, we're a litigation firm. And anything, I've been doing it long enough that anything we can't handle, we can refer out. But primarily it's the variety of cases that that we get that is a most, most benefit. And as a 30 year lawyer, I'm always looking for that challenge. I, I'm not, I don't want the cookie cutter client. I don't want repetitiveness. I want the challenge and, and Legal Match provides that. As the insurance business has dried up over the years due to a lot of factors, I have had to market myself and bring in business to stay afloat. And in running your own business, uh, marketing and advertising is absolutely key. I never had to do that before. But in the last five years, I have. And uh, that's why I, I have turned to Legal Match. Well, I'm personally involved. So, you know, when I started off, I, I think I'm in my third year with Legal Match uh, doing this at least. I started off uh, farming out the calling back of clients to other lawyers within my firm. But for me, I feel I'm the best marketer for me. And so I am now in charge and have been for a while of making that personal contact, that first contact with the client. So that would be my recommendation since even though other lawyers would contact the clients, potential clients first, and then discuss it with me and I would have the ultimate say as to whether to bring in that client, I'd rather make that decision right up front. And I think the clients appreciate that too. I do use templates uh, for the initial response. However, I follow it up with a personal email. And I have my own personal template that I use in, in the email. I, I type it out every single time. But having done it enough, I, I know exactly what I'm going to say on that first contact. And then if I haven't heard back from someone uh, I have a timetable that I set for myself. I do a follow-up email. And then if I still haven't heard back from that person, I'll do a final email that gives them a time period indicating that when and if they're ready, they can contact me, but otherwise I won't contact them any further. So that's my own system that I've developed and uh, it seems to be working well. Absolutely. Unless it takes business away from me.